manufacturing industries manufacturing industry consists of heavy machinery which is operated with power where raw materials are processed into finished goods and in which human efforts and skills have been put in study at a glance industry stages of production in industries classification of industries factors affecting industrial location industrial regions distribution of major industries industry industry refers to an economic activity that is concerned with production of goods extraction of minerals or the provision of services thus we have iron and steel industry which involves production of goods coal mining industry involving extraction of coal and tourism industry which is a service provider manufacturing industry is concerned with the production of goods stages of production in industries most of the products that we use today have gone through various stages of production let us take the example of the book that we will use now book started its life as a part of a tree it was cut down and transported to the pulp mill there the wood of the tree was processed and converted into wood pulp the wood pulp was mixed with chemical and finally changed into paper by machines the paper was sent to the press where these pages were printed at the printing press the pages were folded and bound in covers in the form of a book finally the finished product was ready for sale classification of industries industries are classified on different bases such as on the basis of size on the basis of ownership on the basis of raw materials on the basis of size industries are classified on their size in terms of money invested the size of any industry largely depends upon the number of workers working in the industry the raw materials used and the nature of goods produced on the basis of size industries are classified into small scale industries cottage industries large scale industries small scale industries small scale industry requires hired but skillful labor it requires small capital investment and small machines running with power in india the small scale industries produce food stuffs shoes and leather products brassware furniture textile goods perfumes etc small scale industry has generated much employment to the masses in the thickly populated and developing countries cottage industries cottage industry is a type of a household manufacturing unit in which the members of a single family work in their homes with ordinary tools to process the raw materials the raw materials are locally obtained and the processed goods have a local market the use of power is limited as it largely depends upon the human power only a little amount of money is needed to set up a cottage industry the main articles made in cottage industry are foodstuffs pottery shoes ropes baskets handloom fishnets jewelry ivory etc large scale industries the industry involves the use of machines which operate with power large number of workers and huge amount of capital investment
It requires a large amount of raw materials which can be obtained from near and distant areas. There is mass production in large-scale industries. Iron and steel industry, aircraft industry, shipbuilding industry, cement industry, chemical industry, etc. are some of the examples of large-scale industry. On the basis of ownership On the basis of ownership of industry, it may be divided into the following categories. Private sector industry Public sector industry Joint sector industry Cooperative sector industry Private sector industry Private sector industry is owned and managed by individuals or groups of individuals. All the profits earned by it belong to the owners and they have to bear the losses if any. Tata Iron and Steel Industry, Reliance Industries, etc. are example of this type of industry. Public Sector Industry Public Sector Industry is owned and managed by the state or its agencies. Durgapur Steel Plant, Bharat Heavy Electricals, etc are examples of this type of industry. Joint Sector Industry Joint Sector Industry is that which is jointly managed by the government agencies and the private firms. Oil India, Gujarat Alkalis, etc. are examples of this type of industry. Cooperative Sector Industry Cooperative Sector Industry is owned and managed by a group of people who form their own cooperative society. The members of cooperative society are generally the producers of raw material. In India, most of the sugar mills are running under cooperative sector. The dairy industry is another example of cooperative sector. Factors affecting industrial location The establishment of an industry in a particular region depends on several factors. They are availability of raw material, power supply, labor, transport, capital investment, markets and water supply. Availability of raw material Availability of raw material is by far the most important factor for the location, especially when the raw material and finished products are of very heavy or of perishable nature. Example, sugarcane industry is located near the sugarcane producing areas as sugar is bulky and perishable in nature. If the sugarcane is kept for a few days, it loses its sugar content. Power supply Modern industries are largely dependent on power. Nowadays, only those industries which require abundant electricity are located near the powerhouse. Example, smelting of aluminium needs a large amount of electricity. Hence, aluminium industries are located near the powerhouses. Labor Industry needs a large number of skilled as well as unskilled labor along with technical personnels, managers, engineers, etc. Example, diamond cutting in Amsterdam and watchmaking in Switzerland are largely based on the supply of skillful labor. Transport Raw materials are to be taken to the factory for processing, while processed goods are to be taken to the market. This involves an efficient system of transport. All those areas which have the advantage of a good system of transport have developed industries. Capital investment Money is needed to purchase land, construct building and to establish industries by setting up machines. To set up a heavy industry, huge capital investment is required. Banks, financiers and insurance companies are available for financial help. Markets The demand of manufactured goods or the market 
plays a major role in the location of industry. Perishable products like the dairy products require markets which are nearer to the industry. Water supply. Industries require a large amount of water for cooling, washing and mixing chemicals etc. Iron and steel industry and paper industry require large quantities of water. As such, this type of industries are located near the source of water, that is, near the rivers or lakes, etc. Industrial Regions World The world has four major industrial regions. Eastern part of North America Western and Central Europe Eastern Europe and Eastern Asia India India has eight industrial regions Mumbai, Pune region Hooghly region Bangalore, Tamil Nadu region Gujarat region Chota Nagpur region Vishakhapatnam, Guntur region Gurgaon, Delhi, Meerut region, Kollam, Tiruvannandapuram region. Distribution of major industries. Distribution of major industries in the world reveals some interesting features. Features: Most of the industries, particularly the basic industries, are concentrated on or near coal fields, such as Damodar Valley Coal Field Industrial Region in India. Industries are also located near seaports and rivers for obvious reasons of facilitating international transport and use of water for industries. For example, industrial regions of Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata in India. Major Industries Some of the major industries and the countries in which they are concentrated are as follows. Iron and Steel Industry, Textile Industry, Information Technology, Shipbuilding Industry, Automobile Industry, Aircraft Industry, Railway Equipment Industry. Iron and Steel Industry Iron and Steel Industry is basic industry because it provides the base for many other industries. The machines which are necessary for other industries are made out of iron and steel. The raw material needed for a steel industry are iron, coal, limestone and a large volume of water. The iron and steel industry is generally located near the source of raw material, that is iron ore, coal and limestone. It also requires efficient means of transport because the raw materials and the processed goods are of heavy nature. Largest iron ore reserves are found in Russia, Brazil, Australia and India. But in the production of steel, China is the largest producer in the world, followed by the United States. Japan, India, Russia, Germany, South Korea, Brazil, Mexico, Canada, and the United Kingdom are some of the other important producers of steel. In India, iron industry is concentrated near the source of raw material and the main steel producing centers are Jamshedpur, Durgapur, Bhilai, Rorkela, Vishakhapatnam, Vijayanagar and Salem. Tisco before 1947, there was only one iron and steel plant in India. Tata Iron and Steel Company Limited, Tisco. It was a private company. Tisco has the following locational advantages. The plant is located near the confluence of two rivers, Subarnarekha and Karkari, which supply water to this industry. Iron ore 
comes from the mining areas of Singbam in Jharkhand and Mayurbhanj in Orissa. Good quality of coal comes from Rani Ganj and Jharia mines. Manganese comes from Kindu Jhar district of Orissa. Kolkata port is about 200 kilometers from Jamshedpur which helps in export and import of goods. Detroit Detroit has developed industrial complexes of iron and steel and allied industries. It has the largest automobile industry and various centers produce components like tires, batteries, paints, etc. Detroit is a major industrial cluster of USA. The importance and growth of the iron and steel industry of Detroit is mainly due to its locational advantages. Coal is brought from the North Appalachian coal fields. Niagara waterworks which are close by provide enough power for the industries. Limestone is used for the manufacture of steel and comes from the nearby Lake Erie and Lake Huron regions. Iron ore comes from the Lake Superior region. Water is required in large quantities which is readily available from Lake Erie. Textile industry Fibers are the raw materials of textile industries. There are two types of fibers, natural and man-made. Natural fibers are obtained from wool, silk, cotton, linen, jute, asbestos, etc. Man-made fibers include nylon, polyester, acrylic and rayon. Goods produced in textile industries are used as clothing, home furnishings and as packing materials in industries. The textile industry is divided on the basis of raw materials used as cotton, woolen, silk, jute and the artificial silk and rayon industry. Cotton textile industry. Cotton textile is an important agro-based industry. Warm and humid climate helps in spinning and weaving. The spinning mills produce yarn while the weaving mills produce cloth and the composite mills produce both yarn and cloth. China is an important producer of cotton textile. India is another major producer of cotton textiles. Main centers in India are Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Kanpur, Kolkata, Chennai and Coimbatore. Other main centers of cotton textile industry are Japan, Russia and Georgia. Textile industry in India Ahmedabad Ahmedabad is often referred to as the Manchester of India. It is located in Gujarat on the banks of Sabarmati River. Ahmedabad is the second leading producer of cotton textiles. Ahmedabad has spinning mills, weaving mills as well as composite mills. It produces dhotis and saris on a large scale and also a variety of grey bleached colored and printed fabrics. Textile industry in Japan. It has a large number of spinning and weaving mills. It is the most important textile center of the world. Osaka produces such fine fabric that it has earned the name the Manchester of Japan. Cotton industry of Osaka is largely export oriented and produces quality cloth at a low price. Moist climate, cheap laborers and harbor are the main factors that led to the development of textile industry. Information technology By using technologies such as computers, calculators, telephones and various electronic equipments, we can store, process and distribute information at a great speed. This technology is called Information Technology. 
information technology industry in India. Bangalore Bangalore, the capital of Karnataka, is a well-planned metropolitan city of India. The city is centrally located in the Deccan Plateau. Bharat Electronics Limited is another government undertaking set up at Bangalore in 1956. At present, this industry produces audio and studio equipment, radars and communication equipment. Bangalore has a highly skillful and educated labor force, readily available to work in the IT industries. Bangalore has now earned the reputation of being the Silicon Valley of India or the IT capital of India. Silicon Valley, USA, Santa Clara Country, California, popularly known as Silicon Valley, gave birth to and nurtured the semiconductor industry in United States. The valley, stretching over 35 miles and including 13 cities, lies to the south of San Francisco. The Silicon Valley was once called the Valley of Heart's Delight. This area was once famous for its apricots, walnuts and various fruits. Today, Silicon Valley is considered one of the greatest science parks in the world that contains hundreds of high-tech information technology. Several large companies such as Intel, the world leader in making microprocessors, Apple Computer, makers of computer Hewlett-Packard and Sun Microsystems are located in the Silicon Valley. Professor Frederick Emmons Sturman planned the knowledge-based electronics industry region centered in Stanford University, where the foundation of Silicon Valley was laid. Stanford Research Park opened up the boundaries between the university and industries. Shipbuilding Industry Shipbuilding is a worldwide industry. This industry is developed where softwood is available. But nowadays, a large quantity of steel is also used to build ships. In Europe, very large shipyards have been developed in Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Antwerp, Hamburg and Lisbon. In North America, the main centers of this industry are New York, Montreal, Chicago, etc. In India, the major shipyards are Vishakhapatnam, Kolkata and Mumbai. Automobile Industry Automobile industry is located where there is abundance of cheap and skillful labor, good demand and easy availability of power supply. The world's major car producers are USA, Japan, Germany and France. In USA, the major car making centers are Detroit, Chicago and Atlanta. In UK, the major centers are London, Oxford, Germany and Berlin. Automobiles are made in assembly line. The engines, the wheels, etc. are made in different factories and then they are assembled in the automobile industry. Aircraft industry the manufacture of aircraft is a capital-intensive industry. It is dependent on a high level of engineering skill. It needs huge capital investment. Civilian aircrafts for transportation of goods and passengers and military aircrafts for fighting operations are needed. USA is the major manufacturer and exporter of aircrafts in the world. Russia being the other. UK, France, Italy, Canada, Australia, Japan and China are the other important manufacturers of aircrafts. In India, aircraft industry is located at Kanpur, Bangalore, Nashik, Lucknow and Koraput. Railway Equipment Industry 
railway rolling stock industry is largely developed in Europe and North America. This industry manufactures both locomotives powered with steam, diesel or electricity and rolling stock which include coaches, wagons, oil tankers, etc. In USA, the main centers of railway equipment are at Detroit, Chicago, Philadelphia and New York. UK, Germany, Russia, Manchester and Japan are other important producers of railway equipment. In India, locomotives are manufactured at Chitaranjan, Jamshedpur and Varanasi while railway coaches are built at Perambur and Kapoor Thala. On the basis of raw material, based on the sources of raw materials, industries are classified into agro-based industries, mineral-based industries, pastoral-based industries, forest-based industries, marine-based industries. Agro-based industries, all the industries which derive their raw material from agricultural sources are called agro-based industries. Examples are cotton, textile industry, jute textile industry, sugar industry, etc. Mineral-based industries Mineral-based industries are those industries which derive their raw material through mining. Examples are iron and steel industry, aluminium industry, automobile industry, etc. Pastoral-based industries All the industries which derive their raw materials from animals or animal product are termed as pastoral-based industries. Examples are leather good industry, shoe making, dairy industry, etc. Forest-based industries All the industries which derive their raw materials from the forests or plant life are called forest-based industries. Examples are sports goods industry, furniture industry, paper industry, etc. Marine-based industries Marine-based industries are those industries which derive their raw materials from seas and oceans. Example, fish processing industries. Summary Manufacturing is the conversion of raw materials into finished products. Based on their size, industries may be divided into cottage, small-scale and large-scale industries. Based on the ownership, industries may be classified into private sector, public sector, joint sector and cooperative sector industries. On the basis of raw material, industries may be classified into agro-based, mineral-based, pastoral-based, forest-based and marine-based industries. Livelihood for people is not the main consideration for the location of an industry. The main considerations are availability of raw materials, power supply, labor, transport, capital investment, market and water supply. The world has four major industrial regions, eastern part of North America, western and central Europe, eastern Europe and eastern Asia. Some of the major industries of the world are the iron industry, aircraft industry, railway equipment industry, cotton textile industry and jute textile industry.